between Brandon Moreno and Lewis Smolka. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter, yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> and you laugh just like that, because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see. Quick level change. Oh, he six. went single. Rotina hit outside. This dude's going for a while. Oh, Takes him for a while. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong it end of that? Not, I mean, honestly, I've never <laughs> I do that. I've never. <laughs> All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Nice strike. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Brandon Murray. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a huge block there. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Fantastic takedown. Moreno gets the single leg takedown. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, beautiful jab there by Moreno. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice kick. Switching stances here. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Brandon Moreno. Quick level change now. He went single into a high clutch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. In terms of the knee strikes, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Just nasty. I mean, just nasty knees. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, uppercuts to the chin, and not just one of them, DC. This is getting ugly. Multiple uppercuts to the chin. You cannot take this many shots to the head if you want your night to continue. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, nice work as he delivers the elbow there from the bottom. Well, he has done some serious damage with these elbows, DC. And if you're on the other side, you got to figure out a way to stop this from happening. You got to get those hands up. You got to block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. 
while he's been pretty accurate tonight, he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Wow, actually got the take now. Smoke is lower. John now starting to show signs of slow. Back to the feet now. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow oh, this? Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Moreno gets caught by the elbow. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Smoke his strike attempt there is blocked. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, hook to the head by the Hawaiian Smoke. Nice punch lands over the top. Ten minutes in the hook. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your team is. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, missed on that one. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left oh! side. Oh! He's hurt bad. Smoker really pouring it on. Wow! He's out! Tower! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Louis Dolores Samurai Smoka. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes.